In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to point out that you can add and remove control vertices to a NURB surface. So in the last tutorial, we uh, took a simple extruded surface and used convert to NURBS to give us the opportunity to use those control vertices. Um, had we checked NURBS creation initially, they would have already been there, but it's you know very simple to go in after the fact and add them. So if I want to see what those control vertices look like, I'm just going to go up and say show CV. And we can see those. And these are the vertices that we're able to grab and you know, distort our object. But they're only available on the ends, basically, where those um, splines were. But if you want to get in and pull and push on the middle of the object, so far, that's basically impossible. Well, what you can do is go in and add control, control vertices or remove them. So I'm going to do that in a top view, just based on the configuration of my object. I can go in and say that I'd like to add control vertices. And you see that we're able to put them basically wherever you want. So I can click where I'd like to add them. And just one more. Or I can choose to remove them as well so they're not permanent. Once you have them in place, you can then come in. And if I look in the isometric view, you'll see that they're all you know, very available to be selected and pushed around. So it gives you a lot more uh, you know, flexibility and creativity the more vertices you have. Oops, I just grabbed the whole thing. But you do have to be careful because the more points you have, the lumpier your object is going to be. So you just have to be careful about that and have as many as you need, but you know, not too many. And that's really all there is to adding more control vertices to your nerve surface.